Hey guys, Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at you guys today from Take Aim Training and Range. We've got ourselves the Dickinson Marine Commando shotgun and it is a sweet one guys. So you guys probably saw our video last week of the Tactical Marine Commando. That one had the more of the breecher muzzle device and also the tactical pistol grip stock. Well this one is pretty much identical except it doesn't have what I just mentioned. <laughs> so it is pretty much your standard plain Jane shotgun and I completely understand a lot of people who don't really want all that tactical stuff it's not something that you particularly care for you want something a little bit more affordable and something that's going to go bang every time you pull the trigger and i think that's what you got here with the xx3 bm2 by dickinson and uh speaking of going bang i've got some birdshot loaded up here i've got a nice beautifully painted red mr hand select down there let's just see how how he likes uh getting peppered up a little bit here Ooh, just a little bit oh yeah Sweet, and you know what, let's just see what one little uh, slug might do here. Let's go for the gut. <laughs> I don't know if you guys will be able to see that or not, but that's obviously a joke, and I think the funny thing about this too is the wad got stuck at him. Look at that. Oh my goodness, so you can see where all the bird shots hit, obviously. And then the slug, uh, oh, that's in there, that's, I'm gonna need pliers to get that out. Anyway, there's the whole wad stuck in him. Oh, that's funny. But uh, what's really fun though, is this shotgun, guys. It's a comfortable shotgun to shoot. It has a nice, thick recoil pad back here. And you can see, you know, the kind of spongy look to it. So it really, really helps mitigate some of that recoil. And it being a six pound gun anyway, lightweight, you can imagine that, especially shooting a slug through it, might have a little bit of recoil, but guys, it's, it's not bad at all. And one big thing I like about this is a lot is the release on this guy. Nice big paddle just forward of the trigger guard. Now, of course, you only need that for your initial loading of the shotgun. So right now it's locked in place. Hit that guy and you're ready to rock and roll, load whatever you want to do in there. Of course, whenever you pull the trigger, you're ready to go. You don't have to hit that every time for those of you that aren't familiar with uh, shotguns. Other couple of things I really like about this guy, the coating on it is corrosion resistant. Uh, that's why they call it the Marine Commando. It's made for, you know, not exactly the best weather, which we might be proving that here in a minute because it looks like we got some storm clouds overhead, but that's okay. The synthetic stock and handguard on this guy, you'll notice too, is ergonomic and reaches the whole magazine tube just about which is very nice. Also holds five in the tube. Pretty cool. But because it's synthetic also, uh, you don't really have to worry about corrosion or, you know, rot or anything like that, which is very nice. So if you were to forget this guy out in the rain, which hopefully y'all, you know, don't do that and have a little bit better, you know, safety practices than that, uh, you would find yourself better yet. If you were stuck out in the rain with your shotgun on a hunt or whatever it might be, this guy's not going to, uh, do you in, I guess you could say. Pretty neat. You no, know, I got I got another slug here just for fun. Why not? How about it? Oh yeah, right the, now the wad on that one came right back at me. Here it is. <laughs> oh dude, I love shooting guys. You just never know what kind of fun stuff you'll get. Also too, this is why you wear iPro and things like that. Anyway, you might be able to see right in the middle of the chest. Nicely done. There's the shell for you. Oh yeah, still smoking too. Don't you just love that? But uh, it's also good for two, three quarter, three inch slugs, whatever you want it to be. Very nice. Other feature I really like about this guy is the blade style front side on this. You'll notice it's not a bead and that makes me very happy. It's very easy to pick up. It's more of like a rifle blade. So it makes it very easy to pick up. And also the safety, just rear of the trigger guard here, very easy to actuate, and then it's in an ergonomic spot as well. I can still get to it, you know, if I need to, you know, with my weak hand, or if I just need to go fire, I can use my, you know, trigger finger. Easy enough. So, I like it. I like it quite a bit. And uh, sling points, got those front and rear. Very nice. What do you say we actually paint up Mr. Hand Select really quick? Take a quick break. Because I want to compare what a slug looks like versus 
our current giveaway and how that might do on Mr. Hand Select. Let's, let's have some fun. And I've got a one ounce rifled slug, two and three quarter inch shell here. Let's just see how that looks. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the uh, wad stuck again here. Let's do it. I'm gonna go left breast here. Well, my left, his right. Boom. All right. That looks pretty good. Now let's see what the HTI chambered in uh, 50 BMG. That guy right there, that nice, that nice Hornady 50 BMG. Let's see what one of those looks like, you know, in the, uh, in the right breast. Let's see, I gotta aim a little bit higher, right? Let's see. <laughs> and surprisingly enough, it looks like the shotgun did more damage. Let's take a look. So, impact of the 50 BMG. This is science for you guys, right? Impact of the 12 gauge slug. Now, granted, uh, looks like we got some like, stuff falling out, nice. Anyway, granted, we kind of expected this to happen simply because the uh, area of impact on a 50 is pointed as to where a slug is a much larger surface area, right? So it's hitting all that, just ripping and shredding. And the 50 is actually just narrowly making its way through at a very high speed. So ah, that's pretty fun. <laughs> anyway, by the way, guys, if you didn't know, this is our current giveaway, the Desert Tech HTI 50 BMG bolt action magazine fed bullpup rifle and it is sweet <laughs> if you can't tell i actually like it quite a bit it's fed from a five round box magazine and it looks like apple makes these magazines because it is slim like the actual 50 bmg just barely fits in this thing real slim profile then again i guess you kind of want that if it's going to be a bullpup design if it's like the m82 and that big real heavy box magazine back here probably be a little cumbersome and uh I guess you could say probably not that ergonomic to shoot, but this guy is actually very ergonomic and easy to control. I like it. And I actually proved that in a little snippet of uh, a little bit of a, a drill, I guess you could say, with a bolt action 50 BMG. Yeah, we did it because it's fun. Anyway, let's talk more about this shotgun though, because this is actually what we're here for. And this guy is just all around fun. Again, the Marine Commando, this is your standard shotgun, the XX3BM2. If that's what you guys are looking for, this is where it's at. Again, just a standard pump action shotgun, five plus one capacity there. So you got six rounds of 12 gauge. If you want those slugs to be sent down range, you could do that. Bird shot, same thing. You got whatever, you know, shotguns have just so many different options, guys. So you know, the choice is yours. Have at it. Now, again, we still have the tactical ones as, as well. And uh, yeah, so if you're, you know, like me and you like tactical stuff, pistol grips, breachers, check those ones out. And we've also carry a whole lot of other different tactical shotguns if you're in that market. And uh, just shotguns in general, I think are a great home defense option. And speaking of home defense, did you guys know we recently did an entire video all about home defense and different home defense firearms and kind of like my top five, I guess you could say. And we kind of go over, you know, what, what's best? Is an AR good? Is a pistol caliber carbine good? How about just a regular pistol or a shotgun, which everybody loves a shotgun, right? Yeah, and yes, you still have to aim them and things like that. So don't think that, you know, obviously you get a little bit wider spread, but it's, it's not, it's, you, you need to aim your shotgun, okay? All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video off there. Again, check out all those previous videos I talked about. And once again, uh, the Desert Tech HTI, 23 pounds thereabouts of just sweetness with that Zeiss 4 to 16 by 50 optic, guys. I, uh, I, I really like having this in the warehouse. <laughs> it is a heck of a lot of fun to shoot. Again, an ergonomic firearm for what it is. Oh man, 29 inch barrel fluted. Woo! Thing is sweet. So yeah, check out our video announcing this as a giveaway because we also have a little bit of fun shooting some sodas to see you know, how many does it take to stop a 50 or at least throw it off its course? Cause who knows, maybe the thing just spun out the side of a bottle after we shot, you know, oh, so many of them. If you want to know how many it got through, go check out the video. You don't want to miss out on that. All right, guys, 
All right, I'm going to leave it off there. If you haven't already, go ahead, give us a like, because we appreciate it. We're over here sweating our butts off. I know Ryan is. He's over here sitting, holding this heavy camera and everything. You think I got the hard part of the job? Nobody says that. Who am I kidding? Anyway, guys, we always greatly appreciate you. Let us know down in the comments your thoughts on today's video. And, uh, you know, Hans Luck doesn't have much more miles left in him. How should we finish him off? I got a couple ideas, but I want to hear from you, fam. Let's, let's hear it. How should we just destroy Mr. Hanselect. I want to like blow him up in a car or something. We should do that. All right. All right. I'm done rambling and ADD and whatnot. God bless you all guys. And we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.